Hello everyone, welcome back to Salasta Crown of the Magister. We are here at, out in front of this giant keep filled with undead. We avoided any kind of conversation over at the front doors. We are just going to get on inside through the mysterious blue square and try and do our best not to get a TPK inside. But we'll see how that goes. The outside graves were likely for servants and guards. The mausoleum holds a few burials, but its main purpose is to hide the secret entrance. The most important graves are in the catacombs down below. And by important, you mean rich. Alrighty, let's get going. Right, well... Half keep, half building let's try and take a tiny peep around this corner all right there's a ghoul there's another loading zone but there's oh this will be the this is the staircase we've just come down and up again through i guess so we are going this way there's a pot there's a ghoul how is everybody for ammunition that's fine. You're fine. You just have those. You have this, but you have cantrips, so it's not a bother. Have you cast shield on yourself? You have? Mage armor, yes, that's what I meant. All right. Ghoul there, ghoul there. Let's start... with this five ghouls only six damage that's a d8 rolls of three plus three and honestly let's just work back into the corner let them come to us Maestro. Uh, we could shatter two of them. But I think I'm just going to start with cantrips. Until there's a bigger crowd. Love a nice crit. You can also work your way away. Ghouls from around the corner. Doing their own movement. Oh, goody. Climbing up over the walls, then. That'll do it. We've been spotted. We must remember we have the capacity to turn undead if we need it. But I think we'll be all right. Um, Sacred Flame... Or just hit them. Do you reckon that guy's got minimal HP left? Because if I could kill this one before it takes a turn, I'd be very happy. Love to see it. And are we going to be able to push back somewhere? And push back to here. And then Orkscar is up. Easy choice here. Just big attacks. Oh, yes. I will smite on a crit. You love to see it. And put yourself here. That way we're in the defense of Maestro's shield if we need it. All right. Bella is back. Get some line of sights on stuff. And it's gone incredibly. Maestro, can you actually see up here? You can. All right, then. Good damage today. 
All right, we'll put him at the back. We'll put leave the tank at the front. Impose disadvantage. All right, they're going after Bella rather than Orkscar. Don't know if they're going to be able to pass into the little corner on their next turn. Um, let's just go like crossbow. It's gone terribly. No smites on non-crits today, thanks. Uh, do we have a melee spell attack? We do. We have Shocking Grasp. We can't reach there because we're not actually in range for it. We'll get in range for it. If we can kill them, we can then step back again. Arcana, Evo, Very nice. All right, that leaves two. I would say something about us being on full health still, but, you know, I don't want to jinx it. Now, I can't actually see who is left, which is interesting. So instead, let's get our shield out. Ready. Sacred Flame. Here, we will ready a melee attack. We will ready a melee attack. And we will stand here. Actually, no, we will stand here because we want to be able to impose disadvantage. And we will ready... Firebolt. Of course, if we use our reaction to impose disadvantage, we can't use our readied action because those two things are mutually exclusive. What are they doing over there? All right, we'll do one more round of this. But if we don't see them again, we're going to have to think about going around to get to them instead of them coming to us. All right, this is being very, very peculiar. Into the castle's keep. Yeah, I would, but we're still struggling with this whole fight dealio. Am I going to climb up here? I guess I am. Right. They are way over there. Doesn't seem ideal. Uh, ready. A melee attack. Then we're just going to have to, I think, move out around into the main part of the courtyard. As long as we don't suddenly pull in a bunch of other trash into this fight, it won't be so bad. Here we go. Also, did we autosave this much in other fights, or is it just because there's been no actions, yeah, in between everything else? Right, don't know why our readied action didn't go off, but that's fine. One radiant damage. Yeah, just hit it with a big sharp stick. Four damage. God, I can't wait to get that belt of giant strength. Let's impose disadvantage here if possible. Love to see it. And for us, just firebolts. Firebolt doing a lot of work today. All right, disadvantage not helping. There must be going straight past. I will take the attack of opportunity. We miss. All right, now we can get the rest of this fight done. I'm actually going to help out up here first. Great work. 
That frees us up to come back down here. Oh, come on. Get stabbed, mate. All right, we can move away without being imposing disadvantage. Solid miss there. Very happy about it. Between us, I hope we can get this done now. Good mace work. Finish him. Or not, you know, that too. Come on, Bella. All right. AC-12 should not be that hard to surpass. We get some knowledge about the ghouls. Let's immediately get cautious. See what bits and pieces we can find. This might just be a bolt or something. Correct. All right, what is around here? Can't go through there. This is where we're going. Can we pick through this? Or just open it, sure. This red ominous stuff is unpleasant. But we'll check for loot wherever we can attempt to find it. I anticipate a big fight out here at the end of the dungeon rather than at the beginning. I don't think I've ever actually tried to storm out through the front wall, through the front door, but... I don't fancy trying it right now. Nor will I push that object or worry about looting that right now. Instead, let's just get inside where it's going to be safer, I hope. Although that said, can you get up here with a bit of climbing? Because I'll loot that pot if you can. Go on, get it. Get it. Yeah. Cash, 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 cash. A warhammer. Doesn't seem entirely necessary. Can't climb up on those battlements. That's fine. Unless it's the game's way of trying to tell us we should be using bludgeoning damage here. Here, have a warhammer. But I'm fine with what we've got. Ew. Sewers, really? This drain could be a way in. Into what? The bathroom's one way and the cesspool the other. Suppose we get down there and it's just six inch pipes. Then we'll look for another way in. But let's try it first. All right, then. Can we get um, enlarge, reduce spell on the game? If necessary. Tell me we're not going back in there. If it can be helped, we won't. Bunch of waypoints added. A locked door. A library of unknown content. Door out of the back. And a secret button, perhaps? Alright, Maestro. Go check out the books. Bella, go check out the button. Who's going to get there first? Right, that opened a secret wall next to the door with the button here. Scroll of Revivify and Crafting Manual Bringstone Fang Poisoned Bolts. I'll read that immediately. And then Revivify can go to either the Cleric or the Bard or... The Paladin, because they can all cast it now, one way or another. Alright, so... I assume that door is just locked with no way through, or perhaps possibly trapped. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Zombie.
All right, I'm not expecting a lot of resistance from zombies, so let's start here. Six zombies in all. Three of them are surprised. Healthier than I was expecting. Eight damage, eight, six, about 24 HP a piece. We'll take some cover since we weren't seen. Maestro, I think. All right, we're gonna need line of sight first. But once we have it, I'm hoping. Yeah, we can get four in one spell here. That seems like an absolute bargain. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to maintain stealth with a loud spell like that. Surprised? Surprised? Not surprised. But not going anywhere, which is interesting. Um, I don't really want to go in on my own for this. Let's use power sacred blade, sacred weapon. Because we can get that back on a short rest. And here... We will just try and kill the very injured one while we have advantage. We will fail to do so. Alright. We'll push back a bit so that they come to Orc Scar first if they want to get in there. Alright, back to the top. Let's try. Viciously mocking... Oh, I can't see them or reach them for range. Fine. Stab this one, then. Very good. Um, for us, I think a shocking grasp will do nicely. That is going to let us push back away from this corner and then they have to go through Orc Scar if they want to get to the rest of us. It's a shame he doesn't have some kind of cleave skill to attack all of these guys at once but you know, can't have it all. Alright, let's go after one that's like not on the edge of its life. What is this happening? Shocked. Oh, that's fine. Standard. Standard and expecting. Right. We actually have magic missiles. So, let's go one here, two there. Good rolls. Unlikely to hit us. They would need about uh, 16 plus 3 to hit us, which is unlikely. Alright, we'll step out and just give this one a little stab. Or not, you know. Totally possible too. But to be fair, Maestro has been doing most of the work today. Case in point. Love to see it. Uh, let's go after the injured one. Plus eight to hit. How are we doing that? Once more, we prevail. Proficiency plus plus three longsword. What? Hold on. Plus two proficiency bonus, plus three longsword, plus three strength. Does it become a plus three magic weapon when we use our light? Or am I going mad? Yeah. 
All right, that's the last of them approaching us. They took their sweet time about it, but they're here. Good shot. Let's go with another shocking grasp here. You do great work, sir. Oh no, two bludgeoning damage. Whatever will we do? Alright, we could magic missile again, but I think we'll just see if we can't get this guy to fail a dex save. And it goes our way. These lot are just having a terrible time, aren't they? Very nice. Right. They are going to have additional cover, unless we can get around this corner here for a bit more of this. Alrighty. Could have walked away, I suppose, but we're doing fine. Orc Scar, go after the weaker one. No need to smite on crits there. And now this zombie is really in for a bad day. Just a big round of attacks, please. Between four of us, we should be able to just take one zombie, right? Alright, Evelyn, finish him off. Great work. Do they only have eight armor class? I'll certainly take it. Right, just a bunch of bones. Oh, a, bun a bunch of bolts. Sure thing. Right, get back to being cautious. Nothing up there, nothing around there. I can't really remember the layout of these dungeons. There's some kind of room back here, clearly. If there's no one around, we can get out of cautious move out a little bit more quickly free stuff trinkets and ingredients thieves tools doing great work and in here bedside table lazaria's journal encrypted spell book one gold piece Let's read Lazaria's journal, shall we? Upstairs to try and speak with Madrakt about it, but Aksha said he was resting and had left orders not to be disturbed as usual. She offered to pass on a message so helpful, but I know it will never reach him. For all I know, she's told him I'm dead. She may be planning to make it true. He's so shaken and addled from the cataclysm, he'd probably believe her. She could have killed him already. He could have been dead for centuries. But no, his magical defenses are still in place. He must be alive. If only I could reach him. Free him from her influence. But I can't get past her and her ghouls. So frustrating, I need to arrange a sudden meeting with a wooden stake. But she's careful. Adam's no help. He won't join me against Aksh Aksha without orders from Madrakt, which of course can't be come because he's gotten got himself isolated 
How blind is he not to see that? I'll never yield the castle to her, no matter what she does. While Madrax lives, I have to keep trying to save him. Searching the graveyard as usual, the dwarf was there. He always thought I didn't see him, but I did. But now he's a ghost. Adam said he was an antiquarian, some sort of scholar. So I tried to control him and find out what he knows. I was over eager though and he got away. An opportunity lost. He might know something that could help me get past Aksha, but her ghouls and free and get past her and her ghouls, free Madrax from her influence. Someday, somehow, I will get rid of her. Alright, is that actually useful to us in any capacity? I'm not sure it is. But there's nothing else. Oh my god, fingers. Nothing else in here. That bookcase is done, so just over to the door then. What was that? Lo oh, that's the locked door that we didn't bother trying to pick because we used the special button. Sure thing. Cautious. Door. That's another zombie. All right. There's probably a bigger threat in here than the zombie that we should prioritize. But if there is, it's not here. Studies in necromancy. Oh, a dark apprentice. Let's go after them, shall we? Two Dark Apprentices, two Zombies, everyone is surprised. And we can see how much HP everyone has. You love to see it. Let's go after the Apprentices first. They're more likely to have spell casting or something similar. We can hit harder than that, can't we? That's much better. Right, surprised, 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 surprised. Back to us up the top. Dark Apprentice, 4 HP. Let's get over to the side. No flanking rules in the game, at least not in the version I play. But there is cover behind other people. Uh, there's the other Dark Apprentice. Must be wary of that. Spellcasting is really the thing that is most threat to us most of the time. Bad, eh? Evelyn. Give it a bop. And then a nice big slice here, please. You cannot defeat me. Alright, decent round. The zombie's just gonna run at us, that's no bother. The Dark Apprentice and what they're capable of that I'm worried about. They miss with Acid Arrow, but we get the splash damage. Zombies, very little bother. Alright, we will focus on the big guy. Solid work. And then the other two can worry about the zombie, perhaps. Oh, you were doing so well with your damage rolls. Evelyn. Great strike. That I like. All right, we're halfway there. No threats here. 
same spell by the looks of it. Yes, another miss, another round of splash damage. And they're running away. That makes some amount of sense, I suppose. Let's just move in together. Alright, six damage between us. You'd think we could manage that, right? So close. Oh, we still have this zombie here. How did I forget about an entire zombie? Fine. Yes, you're gonna miss because you always do. This guy, different spell. Bane? Blindness. Interesting one, but Bella succeeds on her check. Though she is not blinded. That is not going to help, though. Alright, one big one, just for me. You mock me, game. You mock me. That's the way. Cool. Now, Orkscar cannot get that far over, particularly with a lack of real ranged options. So, just take the dodge action. Chill touch, no good. To be fair, if I was in a fight with somebody, this pattern of movement is actually one that is almost reasonable with regard to what the AI has tried to achieve here. Oh, come on. Right, I'm not going to spend magic missiles on this. He's going to fail this deck save, take one damage. Nope, he's going to get a nat 20 on his deck save. How would we do with this? Terribly. Terribly good. Right. Go get your spear. Get any supplies down here. And leave the dagger. I don't need to collect every dagger I find. We read those books already. Grab whatever's in here. Bunch of ingredients. Bunch of books. There is a spot to long rest. If we want it. I mean... As much as we're not very spent, we have picked up a bunch of food. So, we could probably take the opportunity while it presents itself to us. Oh. Well, I was not expecting to loot that bed. I was expecting to rest, but you know. If you're going to give me four extra food, then I absolutely will take the extra long rest. I should probably check if we're crafting anything, but you know. Uh, we don't have anything extra to attune to. I don't want to change my prepared spells, I don't think. Crafting. We can craft a regular healing potion. I will make a scroll of magic missiles here. And another one here. That is all of our Galavan Amaranth. So... That's fine. More chances to cast magic missiles in a pinch? Absolutely fine by me. We will check this bookcase. A 
unidentified potion and a love poem. Well, we absolutely can ritual cast identify on potion of greater healing. Then our characters know what I know. Potion of superior healing. Is that 8d8 plus 8? 8d4 plus 8, yeah. Damn. Okay, that's a big one. Um, otherwise, we got a poem. Moonlight drizzled from your armor. One room face to face. Our eyes met. Art said sloppy as you draw near. No man has yet shared you as I have. Both our hands collide as well as our lips. The stars find sparks floating around to gasp. Herald my pounding heart to calm. He grabbed my beard and kissed my cheek. Pure passion, one beast with two backs. A gaze to make it all perfect. I reached for my side and you are not there. In the night, I cried for my sweet Garrod. Ragni Hammerpen. Okay. Door. God, it's just another... Great big open mysterious room, isn't it? Okay, bunch of folks over there. Books. Bookcases. Jade pendant, basic poison. Dark apprentice. Zombie, zombie, zombie. All right, I guess we go after the Dark Apprentice first, as is almost tradition at this point. We want to get in a little bit closer if we don't want to have disadvantage on this attack. All right, two Dark Apprentice, four zombies. They have plus zero to their dexterity saving throws. Or to their dexterity checks, rather. Good to know. Uh, we could cast a spell, but we will take the attack advantage. And miss. Zombies are surprised all over the place. Um, we dash. We can put ourselves up here. That will probably be helpful. I know. I know. Yes, we got seen. We knew. We knew. There's the other apprentice and the other zombies. If we can stay up high between us all, they'll probably have a much harder time getting the zombies up here to be an effective force ah. against us. Only 11 AC on these guys. Not much to fear. Back to Bella. Great work. Big fan. I should have moved Bella forward. Fine. It's fine. Kill him. Get him. Or not. Fine. These guys are all going to start charging down the way. Not very quickly, though. We should be able to finish this. Nice move. Very nice. Can we get across here that far? We cannot, but we'll start trying. Acid arrow. Get back here. Alright, the zombies have arrived. We do not have the athletics to climb this. That is a shame. Well, in that case... We'll just attack... The wall of zombies that come at us. Should be fine, really. Uh, from down here. Oh, we still hit on an eight. 
Love it. Uh, we cannot make that climb either. So really, we've just destined the paladin to be all up on their own. Uh, 4 HP. Just roll a 3 on your damage die. That's what I asked for. Alright, these guys are going to move in, but not do very much thereafter. Great work there. How do they still do seven damage on a miss? 44 acid damage. Take acid damage each turn, recurring plus two. Do some damage, even if you miss. How much is that? Oh, half damage when you miss. I see. Okay, so it's like a save, but different. Arcana, Evo, Malmiss. Get shocked, buddy. Alright, it's a fight on two fronts. Great work. Get the shield out. Just such good work. Just as I'm complimenting you guys. And then we get crit right back. Alright, zombie. Get out of my way. Seven damage, pretty solid. That is on a D8, isn't it? Yeah. Bella. Stabby stab. Great work. Evelyn. A good kill, as they say. Let's get over there to help, shall we? Alright, this one, take your sweet time. Chill touch. They roll with disadvantage. We are unlit. Love to see it. Are we going to have range on cantrips from here? We are at disadvantage. But we still hit them. Would we be better just dashing over there? I think we probably would. Then between us, we should be able to get through this without too much more issue. Obviously, attack the zombie we're next to. Very nice. Push right up here give them basically nowhere to go they miss with vampiric touch all right we gave them somewhere to go apparently i'm not bitter at all and we have no line of sight for anything Come on, Dark Apprentice. You know you want to die. At least Bella gets a line of sight. Wait till the next one. Yeah, with any luck, the next one will really hurt. At least Orc Scar should be within range to get another go at it. So close. Try and run away from me. Go on. Just try it. Uh, 
Very nice. Who are you? What do you want? Uh, let's see. Uh, charisma plus eight. I'll Look, take it. Whatever you do in the privacy of your own castle is your own business, as long as you don't do it to us, of course. But the thing is, we've come a very long way, and it's vitally important that we speak to Master Mardracht. Really? Oh, yes. It's a matter of life and... Well, you know what I mean. What's it about? Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, really. But our orders are to speak only to him. They come from the very highest level. I can't get you in to see the master, but I can help. There are some things you should know. What things? If you want to talk to Mardracht, you'll have to get past Aksha. Who's Aksha? A defiler. She lives upstairs. A defiler? A blood-drinking child of sorrow? Twice cursed defilers. The worst of the undead. She turned up a few years ago, seemed interested in the work, and suddenly she'd installed herself upstairs, and no one talked to the master except through her. I haven't seen Mardracht face to face since she got here. She says she takes messages to him, and she brings messages back, but they don't sound like him. I know. Knew him. He was my mentor, my teacher. She's holding him prisoner, I'm certain. So we'll have to go through her. If you can. She's got a pack of ghouls. And those defiler powers of hers are no joke either. We've tried using force before, more than once, but I got sick of losing people. Thanks for the warning. Now, suppose we do manage to reach Master Mardracht. What's the best way to approach him? Hard to say. The cataclysm hit him hard, and then Aksha. Who knows what she's done to him? The stairs will take you to her apartments. Good luck getting past her. All right, a bunch of XP. Nearly level five. Don't know if we'll get there before the Axka fight, especially needing a long rest to level up. But we've gone plenty long enough for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put this down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.